So George Kittle was hurt in the game this weekend. So what does that mean for your fantasy team? So George Kittle was ruled out of this game, which is never you know a good thing for any player when they're ruled out. Uh, he did get x-rays on his foot. They were calling it an ankle injury, but now it's a foot injury. The x-rays came back negative. So that's obviously a, a positive sign that there's no broken bones or anything. The football uh, doc, pro football doc on Twitter, and then fantasy doctor on YouTube, both really good. If you don't follow them, I would definitely go and follow them. They're they're really good at breaking down the injury and giving you their prediction of what they think it is. So both of them say that, well, the fantasy doctor really is saying that this is kind of like a foot sprain. So it's kind of like the Joe Mixon, Chris Carson injury. It's going to be hard for him to play this week because this game is on a Thursday night. So not a whole lot of time to really recover. So what are some options in case he can play this week? I'm going to give you a couple options, but really I'm going to do a more in-depth waiver wire video later in the day on Monday. But some of just my quick guys here that I'm going to give you. So the Rams and Browns are both on by, so I can't give you any of those tight ends. So these right now, the first one is going to be uh, Eric Ebron. Eric Ebron, since coming out of the bye, he's had a, you know been decently involved in this offense, except the Cleveland game where it was it was a blowout. So he didn't really need to be involved. But the games that mattered, he's been involved. He scored in one of them this past week, and next week he gets Dallas, who this game's going on right now, so I can't really say how good the Dallas defense is. Last I saw that they were winning, though. But he does play Dallas, who I think the Steelers can expose a little bit, and Ebron will be involved in that game. The next person is going to be Logan Thomas. And I've talked about him a couple of times here. Logan Thomas, 21% rostered in Yahoo leagues. I think since Kyle Allen has taken over this offense, and honestly before he really wasn't playing that bad, he just wasn't scoring touchdowns. Past two weeks has scored touchdowns. Touchdowns are hard to predict. But it seemed at least four targets in each game for a guy that's not really might not be owned in your league and there's not a whole lot of options at the tight end position, I think that he would be a pretty solid add. He's kind of lining up all over the formation as well, so that's definitely good news as well. Uh, so I would add him. The last one here, now the last one, it's not that great, and that's going to be James O'Shaughnessy. Now, this is also dependent if Eifert doesn't play in this game. They're starting a new quarterback. I think it's um, Lutton or Mike Lennon. I don't know if they actually came out and said who's going to start. Maybe they did. I just didn't see the news. But they're going to be starting a new quarterback because Minshew's hurt. And they play Houston, okay? So if he's the only player that plays, well, if Eifert's out and he plays, maybe they rely on their tight end a little bit, the new quarterback in there, a big body guy. So it could get worse, you know. I'm not saying he's a great, a great start by any means. But if you're in a deeper league, Kind of desperate, maybe a guy who sees a lot of snaps because Eifert's out. Uh, that's that's what we're. I'm, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I'm sorry, right? I'm sorry, but he's he's the only one that's really not owned. That you know is an option. So with that being said, thank you for watching. And if you do enjoy this content, please like, subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. I'll be releasing a waiver wire video on Monday. Make sure you check that out. It'll be much more in, de in depth with all the players that I think you should be adding. So thank you and have a great day.